Winakasan ng UP Lady Maroons ang kanilang 36-year title drought by sweeping or sweeping the FEU Lady Tamaraos to take the Premier Volleyball League Collegiate Conference Championship. Kamontik pang matalo ang Lady Maroons sa Game 2 ng Finals pero nag sila with an 8-0 endgame run para makuha ang titulo. Let's talk now to the champions with Coach Gonfrey Okumu and Team Manager Andy Lagman. Your PBL Collegiate Conference Champions for Season 2, the UP Lady Maroons! Thank you so much, girls. Miss Andy, Coach Godfrey, thank you so much for the time and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank Coach you. Godfrey, I have a question for you. You hail from Kenya, Africa. You've been part of the national team of Kenya for 12 years. You coached for 10 years already, coached in Japan, you come here to the Philippines and you lead these young ladies to the school's first major championship in 36 years. Coach, how did you do that? <laughs> first, I would like to say thank you for having us. I would like to thank uh, our main sponsor, UAI, uh, the UP community, and the fans, uh, and uh, the team as well. I did not do it. The team did it. Yeah, they did a good job. Uh, I was just like the bus driver. They were in the bus. So I was just driving and they were like walking. So I would just say thank you to them. Uh, they did the job. Yeah. Miss Andy, I first met you last year during the start of the UAP season and you seemed very calm and very confident in these young girls and in Coach Godfrey Akumu. What were the qualities that you saw in this particular team that led you to believe that they were meant for great things? Well, first, um, first they are really great players. Mm -hmm. And of course, with um, proper gui guidance and faith in the Lord, you know, everything went on smoothly. And of course, with the coaches, with the help of the coaches and the UP community, everything went well. All right. You know what? Nung una ko nakausap si Coach Godfrey Akumu, I learned that Ayel Estranero was named one of the captains along with Dots Carlos. And I asked Coach Godfrey, what do you see in Ayel that led you to choose her as one of the captains? And you remember what you said, Coach? You, you told me that you see that Ayel is a veteran, she's respected, and that she's somebody that the teammates can trust. Ayel, what is your reaction to that? Na yun ang sinabi ni Coach Godfrey tungkol sa'yo, at ikaw pa yung nag-deliver ng winning service ace kagabi. I think, as a player, it really helps me. It boosts my confidence. Mm -hmm. um, not just um, inside the court, but also in terms of like leading the team. Because when you know people trust you, your coach believes in you, your teammates respects you and believes in you at the same time, um, it's easy to um, lead them and it makes everything easier. But it's not just um, about me leading the team. It's everything is really a collective effort from mm. everyone. Like I'm not playing alone. It's really um, everyone um, contributes inside the court. And even like off training, mm. whenever we have activities as a team, it's not just me doing um, one job, but it's everyone really working together. Naikita natin yung mga highlights. All of you girls are in tears, very emotional. Iba talaga yung feeling, I guess, of finally being hailed as champions. At Isa Molde, napaka-emotional ng pinost mo <laughs> sa Instagram. Bibinasa ko lahat yun. Sobrang haba. Uh, and, and you were talking about the challenge of being away from your family. Kasi tiga Cebu ka, di ba? And now that your family, your friends na from Cebu, nakita kang nag-champion, nakita kang prenove sa buong volleyball community that you could be one of the best, be an MVP, be a champion. How does it feel? Masaya ako kasi, first of all, wala si Kaloy. Mm. So parang ang hirap niya para sa akin. Buti na lang andyan yung teammates ko na tulungan ako mag-step up every game. Tulungan akong maglaro talaga kung ano yung ila ilalaro ko dapat. So, ayun, sobrang saya ako na nanalo kami ng championship na kasama tong mga teammates ko. Ano yung feeling na 
may mga tao nang nakikita ka sa kalye, sa school, at sinasabing, okay. Isa, MVP! Ay, <laughs> actually, ayoko yung feeling na yun eh, kasi uh. parang, Nahihiya ako <laughs> na sabihan na isa MVP. Yeah. Oh, alam ni Ayal yan. Ayaw, ayaw ko yung feeling na yun. Kasi gusto ko normal lang yung tingin nila sa akin. Pero sinabi nga ni Ayal, sinabi mo nga na wala si Tots Carlos, one of your mm-hmm. top scorers. Pero marami namang nag-step up. Just mm-hmm. like this girl beside me, <laughs> si Marian Vitre. <laughs> yeah. 12 points. 12 points in, uh, in uh, game number two in the finals, how did it feel to be able to step up and contribute para sa UP Lady Maroons? Um, well, I have to admit na slow start yung... Slow start ako yesterday. Mm. But then, sobrang na-feel... Na fi, every game naman, this season, na-feel ko na may tiwala yung teammates ko sa akin. Yun, lagi kasi nasabi sa teammates ko na every after game, parang, guys, thank you sa tiwala. Thank you sa affirmation na kaya ko, kaya ko to, ganyan. And like yesterday, like si Mergy, si Isa, parang sabi, Mar, momentum lang kailangan mo, ganyan. And like si Mergy, at Mar, kailangan ka namin, tara. So parang dun, na, dun, dun ko na-realize, parang oo nga, no? So parang dun, yun yung parang nag-push nag, nag push sa akin to step up yesterday. And it's not just you who stepped up. You had 12 points. Pero si Maristela Layug also had 12 points in that game, number two. So, how do you feeling na you also were a big part of the championship last night? Um, Siyempre, super saya. Kasi um, pinaghandaan talaga namin yung game na yun. And then, nan- nagtitank you din ako sa teammates ko. Kasi nandyan, nandyan sila para sa akin all, all the time. And then, Um, na, na parang nakaka-inspire din sa lahat na nakaka-motivate din sila. Like um, kinaya namin to and kaya kaya um, pinaghirapan namin to. So, ayun, super saya sin. There were eight new players in this team ah, um, compared to what you had in the UAAP. And I want to ask Ai Ganaban. <laughs> Am I saying her name right? Ai Ai Ganaban. Okay, Ai. Uh, Ai. Um, how does it feel that maraming bago sa team compared to what you had in the UAAP? Tapos nakapag gel kayo at nakapag champion. Siguro kasi sa team naman namin lahat lahat kasi kami close. Tapos sobrang open namin sa isa't isa. So parang mabilis mabilis na nag-gel na lang kami tapos ano tulungan din talaga para maabot namin yung championship. Si Jasma naman, ano yung maidadagdag mo sa sinabi ni Ai? <laughs> <laughs> um, kami naman, di ba nasa labas kami? So, yes. um, siguro um, yung may tiwala din kami sa isa't isa sa kanila. Kasi, um, nung nasa labas kami, lahat na lang sinasabi namin na, na no, we believe that we will win this game. And, tiwala lang siguro kasi, atin to. Atin to. Atin to. <laughs> and, and, ano, I always says na, um, law of attraction to, law of attraction. Atin to, atin to. Positive lang always. You know what? I can't let this interview pass without letting Rosalyn Rochier say something because she's been smiling in the back. Uh, kilala na si Rosalyn ng ating mga UAP fans because you, you've been featured on Upfront. So, how does it feel now that you can call yourself a champion? Um, well, all I can say is, uh, no, I'm very, very happy and thankful. Um, um, I just want to add, Your question yeah. to Ate Ayi and yes. Ate Jasma is that, ano, um, I think with the new players, it's a great uh, chance for us to experiment and as well, like, have a different play. Kaya din tayo nanalo kasi ang ganda ng, ng, ano, ng, uh, ng chemistry at saka ng pinakitang bago sa, ano, sa mga kalab. You know, with what you said, I remember, Coach Godfrey, what you told me at the very start when I asked you about Isa Molde. I asked you, Coach Godfrey, what does 
ISA need to do in the UAP for you guys to be successful? And you told me that you told ISA to have a second trademark. Don't just have one trademark, have a second trademark. And it goes back to what Roslyn was saying that you have to do something different so you yeah, can be true. unpredictable. Yes. So what can you say from remembering that moment, telling Isa that she has to have a second trademark to her becoming MVP and the champion in the PVL? I think that was, thank you. <laughs> that, that's a challenging question. Uh, yes, uh, I remember saying it and I also talked to her. Um, I mean, uh, for you to, to, to play well, as a player, as an as a athlete, you have to be different. Uh, having one brand means she was very good in hitting in between the, the blocks. Yes. Then I started asking her if you could go cross court, just deep cross court and go down, just practice. Yeah, it was a challenge. But, and then the last time I told her was to swing high. Even if the ball is low, you swing high on the block. So the blocks are just there, but they will not catch you. And um, I think uh, of late I've been seeing a different person. Ah. I can't <laughs> yeah, she's always on fire. I can't even understand her anymore, but she's doing a great job. Yeah, she yeah, had 22 yeah. points last yes, night in the yeah. championship clinching yeah. game. Miss Andy, before we close, this is your chance to thank everybody who supported UP in the PVL. First, I want to thank um, our sponsor, UAI, United Auctioneers Incorporated. Uh, headed by Mr. Dominic Seaton. Thank you very much uh, for everything. The UP community, um, CHK, College of Human Kinetics, um, Coach Oski, Chancellor Michael Tan, um, President Dan Con. Thank you very much. And to all the UP fans, thank you at naniwala kayo sa amin uh, na kaya natin, na atin ito. And um, sana hindi kayo magsawang sumuporta sa amin sa magagaling na atletang ito at okay, sa mga coaches namin. Alright, once again, your PVL Collegiate Conference champions, the UP Lady Maroon! Congratulations, and I'm very excited to see you guys compete in UAP Season 81. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys there. Thank you. Hey everybody, this is Anton Rojas. Subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports and Action YouTube channel. All you have to do is click on the I button right here.